Well, someone is hell-bent on being Bully Hunters 2.0. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video, and like I've been saying, I'm going to be watching The Watch, a new group that has reared its ugly head in a fight, and I use that term very loosely, to end harassment and racist language, toxic behavior in gaming. Pretty much Bully Hunters 2.0, and they are doubling down on the rhetoric. The rhetoric that there is pervasive racist language being used within gaming, that there is pervasive harassment, particularly towards minorities in gaming. Never mind the fact that anybody who's played multiplayer games online, unless you are absolutely sure of who the person looks like you are gaming with, you have no fucking idea what their skin color is, what their gender is, what their sexuality is. None of that shit. None of that shit at all, but yet they are continuing to push this narrative and call on Activision. Now, like I said, I am watching them in particular because they keep tagging Activision, they keep tagging Call of Duty because it is one of the biggest games out there in terms of multiplayer, so it's one of the biggest targets. Again, as I stated in my previous video and on live streams, are there fringe elements that maybe go too far? Yes, yes, but the key word there is fringe. They are not at all indicative of the entire gaming community, but yet they're the focus to prove whatever narrative these assholes want to push. And the fucking narrative is that gamers are racist pretty much, minorities are harassed. Pick one. Pick one. Doesn't matter what the facts are, doesn't matter what reality dictates, that is the narrative they want to fucking push. And again, they are doubling down. They are tagging Activision, you can see on this tweet right here. Answer the call to get racism off of Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty. I'm equal opportunity when it comes to foul language. I don't fucking care who you are. I don't care what your skin color is. I don't care what your gender is. I don't care what your sexuality is. I don't even fucking care what your age is, pretty much. You want to play that game? You get fucking good. You shit talk back. That's the name of the game. But yet, they continue to do this, and they tell people to snitch on gamers, pretty much, or at least, at least... Watch Call of Duty streams, and if you hear racist language in the backgrounds, to DM them so they can show Activision how pervasive it is. But again, and I cannot beat this dead horse enough, alright? Unless you are absolutely sure of what the person looks like you are gaming with. If you know that person in particular, you don't know what their skin color is, gender or sexuality. So these disembodied voices they're fucking hearing through the open mic, open voice chat, whatever you want to call it. They could be minorities themselves. They drop fucking language like that all the time. It's not exclusive to one skin color or one gender or one sexuality. But that's the narrative, again, that they're pushing. So again, they're tar you know, targeting Activision. They're saying racist language doesn't belong anywhere, but it's everywhere in gaming. Yes, everywhere in gaming. Yeah. And to them, they drop a statistic back on July 13th, and over 80% of those gamers are get harassed while they play. All right, because they are quote tweeting this uber facts about the number of hours played on Call of Duty. That's why we started the Watch, a community watch fighting racism in gaming. They drop a number, 80%, no link to whatever data they're using, not even a fucking screenshot with a link site or whatever to show here's the data that we are pulling from. No, they just take a number, pull it out of their ass, they reach up so far, pull it out, and say, here it is. No proof whatsoever. fucking ever. So they're saying 80% of those gamers get harassed. Now here's the kicker to this. Here's the kicker to this. The only way that they could push this fucking narrative at all is that the only streamers that they will watch are minority streamers. Because they want to prove their narrative. Not reality or anything like that. The narrative. So the only way they can is to have people watch certain streamers. And what those certain streamers are? Minorities. Whether based on skin color, gender, or sexuality. Because if they were to show every gamer, to include the dreaded straight white male, their narrative would fucking fall apart. It's already fucking falling apart, as I pointed out, because you have no idea what anybody on those open mics looks like. But they don't care. They don't care. And this is the group, Melanin Gamers. Melanin Gamers, this is the watch again. An initiative by Melanin Gamers. Melanin Gamers are these folks. Right here. Okay? I found their website. They are dedicated to increasing diversity and inclusion. 
Two of the biggest fucking buzzwords ever in the video games industry. Alright? And what does that generally mean? Never mind skill. Never mind talent or anything like that. No. Gotta check off the fucking boxes. What are those boxes? Skin color. Gender. Sexuality. Pretty much what they want is reparations, essentially. They don't want equal opportunity. They want equity to them. That's what inclusion means. Not equal opportunity, but equity. Their fair share, so to speak. All right? Their mission. Okay, here it is. Problem. Environment. Not enough places for people of color to come together in a safe space. I don't know. I play my mom PS5 at home. That's just about as fucking safe as they can get. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking... Like, online gaming? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fuckers. Alright? Again, you want to kind of quell the harassment? Get fucking good. Because most, most of the harassment is equal opportunity. Alright? I do it. Others do it. It doesn't fucking matter. If you're shit at a game, you're going to get shit-talked. You know what you do to that? You shit-talk back or you fucking mute. That's the name of the game in gaming. It's how it's always been ever since the advent of the multiplayer. Problem representation. Not enough visible people of color in the gaming industry and within the games that we play. Because it's all about the checkboxes, not about the characters themselves, pretty much. Unity. Gamers of color feeling isolated like there aren't people who look like them. If you can't connect to anyone beyond the superficial features at all, then you are so fucking shallow to begin with. You are that fucking shallow if you cannot empathize with anybody who does not look like you. If you cannot connect to any person or character unless he or she or it, whatever the fuck you, uh, pronoun you want to use, looks like you. I don't want to know you if you're that fucking shallow. Problem. Development. Aspiring esports content creators not knowing how to get into the industry or even if it is for them. General. But again, but again, they're all about, they're all about minorities. Even though the irony of their fucking name, Melanin Gamers, every human, with the exception, the rare exception of those who have albinoism, has melanin in them. Varying degrees, yes, but every human has melanin in him or her. So you saying that you are all about melanin gamers, that means you're for everyone. But then you're not for everyone because you're only focused on skin color, gender, and sexuality, the minorities. So fuck you, melanin gamers. Fuck you and fuck the watch. That's it. Pretty much. I'm going to be watching you guys and I'm going to be watching if Activision responds to you assholes. Because I'm going to be... I'm going to be betting. I'm going to be betting. They're going to. They're probably going to respond. Maybe not in the way that you want. Maybe not in the way that anybody wants, really. But with the fact that they are dealing with shit on so many levels, they're not going to want this uh, target on their backs as well. So they might prostrate themselves be before you guys. But I've yet to see because they have not responded. They're focused on the uh, new Modern Warfare 2 game due to be released in October. And again, I cannot emphasize this enough. The only things that these game developers have to be focused on is creating a game that people want to play, promoting that game, and keeping people buying it. That's it. Anything else beyond that, it's not their fucking duty. They're not the thought police or anything like that. You're not the fucking thought police or anything like that. So shut the fuck up, the watch. We don't want you or need you or at all. The only oh, Let me back, back up there. Be back up there. Keep at it, because you give me fucking content to talk about. But anyway, just shameless little plug right there. But anyway, what are your thoughts are down in the comments below? Do you agree with this approach? Or are you kind of the same as me, where it's Bully Hunters 2.0, and you are just popping the popcorn and watching this uh, train wreck as it goes towards the cliff? Let me know all that fun stuff down in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you will. See that box back there? See that box back there? That is my second monitor. I'm going to be setting that up. So hopefully, fingers crossed, but in the very near future, hopefully tomorrow, but I can't guarantee anything, I'll be back to Twitch streaming. Probably 
Alien Spire Team getting back into playing that since I haven't played that in a year because it's something that I can kind of jump in solo with bots and kind of level up my character since uh, that game is going to be cross-play in the near future. I think July 26th and I have uh, those I know very closely who played that as well that I might be joining them on stream so we'll see about that. But at any rate, again, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This is Mara Jade. Catch you on the dark side. And I'm watching you.